we have classified matter based on the chemical composition meaning based on the kind of particles present in this matter we have classified matter into pure and impure substances so what is a pure substance okay a pure substance is that which is made up of one kind of particles okay it is made up of one kind of particles and it has definite set of properties now for example we see oxygen gas entire oxygen gas is made up of oxygen molecules if you take water water is made up of water molecules if you take sodium sodium is made up of only sodium atoms so in this manner a pure substance is made up of only one kind of particles if it is atoms one kind of atoms if it is molecules one kind of molecules and they have definite set of properties meaning that they have a definite color they have a definite odor they have definite boiling point melting point and how they react with the other uh, in presence of other substances is also definite but when coming to impure substance impure substance that does not mean something impure it is still can be pure okay but an impure substance is that which is made up of more than one kind of particle it may have two kinds of molecules it may have two kinds of atoms it may have one type of molecule and one kind of atom okay so in this way we have classified matter based on the difference in their chemical composition into pure and impure substances into elements pure substances are further divided into elements and compounds and impure substances are further divided into mixtures right now next so let us define an element so an element is a pure substance now what do you mean by a pure substance children a pure substance is that which is made up of only one kind of particles and it has a definite set of properties so an element is a pure substance made up of one kind of atoms and it cannot be broken down into two or more pure substances by any chemical means so an element cannot be broken down into two or more simpler substances by any chemical means is that clear so this is the definition of an element now uh how do we represent this element now there are 118 elements discovered so far out of these 118 elements children okay we have 36 elements are known as the radioactive elements okay the 36 elements are radioactive elements meaning that they emit certain harmful substances which are known as radiations examples in this we have uranium etc okay and 82 okay 82 elements are known as normal elements okay they are known as normal elements so these normal elements by normal we mean that they do not uh emit any harmful radiations for example we have sodium oxygen these are normal elements so as of today there are 118 elements discovered as uh, out of which 36 are radioactive and 82 are normal elements okay then coming to see basically whenever we have to represent something it would be easier if we represented it in a short form right for example in maths instead of every time add uh, writing 3 uh, add 2 we just write 3 plus 2 if we need to subtract we don't have to say subtract 4 from 6 we say 6 minus 4 
so we always try to develop simpler things so buzz many scientists had made several attempts to write the short forms for these names of these elements okay and several attempts were made and finally it was berzelius children okay it was berzelius who has given the concept of using alphabets as symbols to represent the elements in their short form okay so berzelius used alphabets to represent the name of the element okay the first letter of the name was used as a symbol for example oxygen the symbol of oxygen is o the symbol of nitrogen is n but children they are 118 elements and they are just 26 alphabets in english so can we have all of them having the same symbol no so for the others which were discovered later what berzelius did is instead of taking only the first letter he took the first two letters or the first and third letter as the symbol to represent the name of that element in the short form for example calcium could not be represented as c because it there was already carbon having the symbol c so calcium got the symbol ca so when you are writing the symbol using two letters that is the first letter and second letter or the first letter or the third letter one thing you need to keep in mind is the first letter is always a capital letter and the second letter is a small letter okay so please remember this the first letter is a capital letter and the second letter is a small letter similarly we have for beryllium okay beryllium has the symbol b e okay then we have chlorine okay chlorine the symbol of chlorine is not c h because when you say chlorine h is silent so we take here c l as the symbol for chlorine okay so first let us write down the symbols of the first 20 elements we start with hydrogen we'll first list out the names hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon potassium and the 20th element is calcium now what do you mean by the first 20 elements children actually basically as per the arrangement of elements in the periodic table we arrange them in the increasing order of their atomic number so we have the first 20 elements and it would be good enough if you know the right order of the first 20 elements of the periodic table now let us write down the symbols of these first the 20 elements hydrogen the symbol for hydrogen is h helium since already hydrogen is h we can't have h so it's going to be h e but remember 
I have written H is in the capital form and E is in the small letter. And then you have lithium. Okay. Then you have beryllium. Then you have boron. Then you have carbon. Nitrogen. O for oxygen. F for fluorine. Ne for neon, Na for sodium, Mg for magnesium, Al for aluminium, Si for silicon, P for phosphorus, S for sulfur, Cl for chlorine, okay, Ar for argon, K for potassium and Ca for calcium. So what are all these? Hydrogen, H for hydrogen, HE for helium, Li for lithium. These are called symbols. These are called symbols. So a symbol is defined as the short form representation of an atom of an element. Okay, so it represents an atom of an element in its short form. Or it's a symbolic representation of an atom of an element. 